Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today we're gonna uncreate the Scorpion XO Covert X. The Covert X is a follow-up to one of Scorpion's most popular helmets, the original Covert. So, this is a muzzle system helmet. It's not a true full face. This mask comes off. You can ride it with or without. You look cool. You got the drop down visor and you can break off this three quarter helmet into a full half shell. So it is a Swiss army knife of helmets. We're going to do a deep dive and show you all the features and quirks of this Covert X right now. In front of me, this is the cement graphic, AKA or solid cement color, AKA battleship, AKA Nardo gray. This is the hot color these days. Uh, they also make it in a few different colors and now a couple of graphics. They got the tribe with the handprint, all sorts of cool stuff. You can mix and match with different color um, uh, sun visors and masks. So uh, we'll show you that more in a minute. The helmet costs just about $300, $299 to just over three. So it's um, about $100 more than the original Covert, which they are still making, but it features a composite shell instead of a polycarbonate. So glass versus plastic, this is an upgrade. It's a little bit lighter too. Uh, all in this thing weighs just about three pounds with the muzzle on in a size medium. So that's about a quarter pound lighter than the original Covert. It's also more, more streamlined because of that composite shell. It doesn't have that big um, bulb uh, bulbous spot up on the front where they made room for the shield on the old one. Two shell sizes. This, the sizes are a little bit more limited in the Covert X going from small to 2X instead of extra small to 3X. So if you got a big head, you can still buy those original Coverts and get that 3XL if that's what you need. Intermediate oval runs true to size, so go by that Scorpion ch sizing chart at speedaddicts.com. And remember, free shipping on this guy from Speed Addicts. And if it doesn't fit, don't worry, we got you free shipping on the way back. We will exchange, get you a different size or just a different helmet, refund, whatever you want, as long as the helmet is still brand new in the original packaging. Just try it on in the living room, not on your bike. Let's do a deep dive here and show you what's going on with the Covert X. And the best way to do that is to set it next to its predecessor. So here's the OG Covert. What you're gonna notice here, first up, the muzzles are a little bit different. Uh, the one on the Covert X is a little more reinforced. It's still not suitable for impacts. It is good for road debris, wind, uh, bugs, rocks, that sort of stuff. This one's a little harder plastic, whereas this one's a little more flexy rubber, okay? The design's also a little bit different. This one's more Stormtrooper. You got some different holes. And uh, the ventilation system is different. So up here, on the old cover, you have this one switchable vent way up high, whereas they have two intakes on the forehead that are not switchable on the Covert X. Neither of these helmets are suitable for cold weather riding, so why not just leave it open all the time because you're going to be getting a lot of wind from the front with the muzzle on or with the muzzle off because you have these vents. So uh, other differences, you'll notice the mold or this uh, trim on the new Covert X that I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, it does have this trim piece where it looks more finished in the half shell configuration. It is more um, lower profile and just better looking in the half shell configuration because I knew that was a problem on the original Covert. And like I said, a little lighter, about a quarter pound lighter. Let's give you those profile shots here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, otherwise, the idea is similar, right? Because the masks on both remove and you have these uh, drop down visors. All right, let's get this guy out of the way. <clears throat> and show you more of what is going on here. So we already touched on the ventilation. Um, that is all the ventilation you're getting besides the front of the helmet. But with this helmet configuration, if you are a little hot, all you gotta do is pop this off with two buttons. You just press and pull, and now you have a three quarter helmet. So if you're coming off the highway, you don't need that extra wind protection. You're cruising through town, pop this off, throw it in your saddlebags, and now you have a three quarter helmet. So that's what they're doing for ventilation. The EPS foam inside of the helmet's also channeled. We'll show you that in a second. So the air that's flowing through the shell between the shell and the EPS actually gets under your scalp and keeps you cool. So this is our Everclear SpeedView drop down sun visor installed in smoke. Also in the package, you are going to get a clear in case you want to rock this thing at night to pull to um, change these out. You're just going to pull and that hook will pop off the receiver on the inside and you can switch them out. Or if you just want to run sunnies, you can pull this out all together. You'll save weight and less moving parts rattling around inside the helmet. That might be the way to go. Or you could use goggles. Okay, let's show you how this mask goes back on. 
they do have all sorts of different uh, designs of masks. Uh, you know, they've got the the uh, bandana, they got the handprint, they got all sorts of different sort of stuff. So you can mix and match. And these are magnetized with neodymium magnets that want to pull themselves right in. So the switches on the mask are nice and easy, and that pulls down to make a decent seal right here. Okay, let's show you how this helmet comes apart. Uh, I forgot to mention, it, this thing is DOT rated in the half shell configuration, not in this full face. Again, this is not meant for impacts. Let's flip this over and show you more of the goodies. Inside, we'll get this all out of the way. So, in this helmet, they're using their Quick Wick 3 Comfort Liner. It is moisture wicking, it's removable, washable. We'll pull that out of the way so you can see that in a second. Okay, get the mask out of the way. Double D-ring closure, five-year warranty from Scorpion, so they're going to stand behind this. I always like to see that when I when I see moving parts like a shield like this, parts that come off, all sorts of clicks and buttons. Uh, a, a good warranty is important. Five years is three years above the industry standard, so they're going to stand behind this thing. Uh, this neck roll comes out, so we'll just pop this out. If we want to take this into the half shell configuration, we're first going to remove this neck roll. Um, inside this neck roll, they don't call these out, but these are speaker pockets. So if you want to run a comm system, you can do it, whereas the original Covert didn't have speaker pockets. They did put a little speaker pocket inside the neck roll. So if you want to use it in the full, um, the full mass configuration with a comm system, you can. If you want to run it in three quarters with the comm system, you can. Uh, if you're going to remove this, one other feature is that they do have plugs to cover up these holes. You don't have to do that, but it does look a little cleaner. Let's go for that half shell configuration here. And to do that, there's a button in the back here that I'm going to press. And then I'm going to wedge my finger in the seam and pull the bottom away from the helmet. And they are a little sticky, especially out of the box. Uh, inside here, there are hooks. So once you pop it up, you need to pull it back away from the helmet. And then you've got your half shell. So this looks a lot more like a traditional half shell compared to the original Covert, which was looked like a uh, Stormtrooper still. You know, it had a little bit more to it. It was a little too bulky. Guys usually didn't ride it in half shell configuration. This is a big improvement. It's still a true DOT half shell, so the liner is somewhat thick. You're not going to get that novelty helmet look out of this, but it was an improvement. One other thing that they improved on the new Covert X was... Uh, cold weather ear covers for the half shells configuration with speaker pockets. So if you want to run speakers or a comm system with this, you got to slip these on. You'll get that ear coverage and you will get a speaker pocket that you can install there. Okay, let's pull this headliner out of the way and show you what else we got going on. Under here you will see the EPS foam is channeled to get that cool air onto your head that's being rammed from these front vents. So this thing will keep you cool. It's all coming to you folks for $300 free shipping, free exchanges. If it doesn't work out for you, you got a double D clasp right here. Head over to spx.com to shop for your Covert X. We appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.